This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create these custom letters using Inkscape. And in order to keep this video at a reasonable length, I'm only going to be demonstrating how to create letters A through H. But if you'd like to have the rest of the alphabet to use, hopefully you could take what I've taught you in this video and apply it to the rest of the alphabet. So let's go ahead and get started here in Inkscape. <clears throat> the first thing we want to do is set up our document. So we'll go to File, Document Properties, and we're going to set the display units to PX for pixels. And then we'll uncheck the box that says show page border and then close out of that. And then we'll go to um, view, make sure you have custom selected. And then we'll zoom in at one to one. And then we're going to open up the uh, align and distribute menu with that button there. We're going to want last selected chosen from that drop down. And then we'll open up the edit objects, colors, gradients, and stroke menu with that button there. And what we want to do up here in the toolbar now is Right here, this box to the far left up here that says uh, when scaling objects, scale the stroke width by the same proportion, we're going to turn that off. And up here for the snaps, we want uh, snap to cusp nodes turned on. And uh, yeah, we'll just leave that one on for now. So the first thing we're going to draw here is a circle. So we'll grab the circles and ellipses tool and hold control and shift on the keyboard and click and drag to create a perfectly round circle like that. And we want to give this uh, a black outline but get rid of the fill color so let's hold shift and click on the color black and then click the button click the X button to the left of it to turn off the fill so we have a black outline uh, what we want to do now is come over to the stroke style tab and I'm going to change this measure of unit to um, this uh, measurement units to pixels for PX and I'm going to make the th I'm going to make this a bit thicker so I'm going to change this to like maybe 25 see how that looks now it's still not thick enough let me grab the select tool and I'm just going to hold Control and Shift and scale that down a little bit. And I'm going to make this a little thicker. I'm going to try out maybe 75. Maybe 85. Or uh, maybe I'll just do 100. Let's see how that looks. All right, that's pretty good right there. So uh, you may have to use different numbers depending on the resolution of your monitor. But um, for my screen here, we, uh, we, we ended up with about this thickness right here at 100 pixels. And this is about, this is roughly the thickness you want to use right here because we're going to use this ring right here to create all of the individual letters. So um, whatever width you used for the stroke, remember that number because we're going to use that elsewhere. So once we've done that, uh, I'm going to bring the opacity of this down in half. I'm going to bring this over to the left. And I'm going to duplicate this by hitting Control D. And I'm just going to hold Control and click and drag this off to the right so we have another copy. And now I'm going to take that and convert that to a path. So I'll go to Path, Stroke to Path. And now I want to create a rectangle, which we're going to use to create like the, uh, the arm of the B and the D and everything else like that. So to do that, uh, I'm going to grab the Squares and Rectangles tool. I'll click and drag to create a rectangle. And I want to fill that in with black and get rid of the outline by holding shift and clicking the X. And for the width of this, let me go to the select tool. I'm going to change the width of this to whatever the size of the stroke was that we used. So I entered 100. I'm just going to uh, erase whatever number that is in there and hit 100 and hit enter. And we want to make this long. We want this to be significantly longer than the height of these two circles here. And I'm going to put this off to the right right here. And what I want to do now is take half create a half circle. What I'm basically doing here is I'm creating all of the parts we're going to use to construct the individual letters. So in order to create like the letter H, for example, we're going to need a half circle. So I'm going to create half of this circle right here. I'm going to click on that and hit control D to duplicate that. And let me just bring this over to the left over here. Let me bring that out of the way. And I'll put this one right here. And I just want to create half like this. So I'll grab the squares and rectangles tool again. I'll create a rectangle going over that. And I'll grab the select tool. And then I'll duplicate this by hitting Control D and I'll bring this down here. And I want to make this red. And then I'll hold Shift and click on the black rectangle. And I'll come over to the Align menu and I'll click the button that says Align Top Edges of, uh, of Object to the bottom edge of the anchor. So it stacks it up right underneath it. And then I'll center it on the vertical axis. And now we can group it together with the Group Selected Objects button up here. And we have this now. So what I'm going to do now is with this selected, I'm going to hold Shift and click on this ring and center it on the vertical and horizontal axis and then ungroup everything. 
and then click off of it to deselect everything. Now we can take this red shape down here and get rid of that by pressing delete on the keyboard. And now we can take this rectangle right here, hold shift, click on the ring and go to path intersection. And we now have a half circle that we can use to construct shapes of the letters. And we have to create one more little piece and that would be a quarter of this ring. So that would be half of this half ring right here to create like, say for example, the letter F I know the letter R will require that as well. So uh, let's duplicate that by hitting Control D and just hold Control and click and drag this off to the left. And again, I'm just gonna move that over out of the way some more. I'm gonna create another rectangle going over this like that. And I'll go to the Select tool, right click that and go to Duplicate. And I'll make this green. And I'll just, actually, I'll just take this and snap it onto the corner of the red rectangle right there. And then hold shift and click on the red rectangle and group it together. And again, we want to take this and hold shift, click on that. Center it on the vertical and horizontal axis. Ungroup everything. And then click off of it to deselect. And we can take this green object, press delete to get rid of it. And then we can just click and drag over both of those objects and go to uh, path intersection. So we now have all of uh, the pieces and ingredients we're going to need to create our, uh, our letters. So the first thing I'm going to create is the letter A, lowercase letter A, like you see here. So to do that, I'm going to grab the ring right here. I'm going to hit control D to duplicate that and just hold control and bring this over to the right. And to create the letter A, we're going to need, um, uh, we're going to need to put like a little arm right there at the bottom. So to do that, I'll, I'll, I'll grab our uh, rectangle over here and let me just go to path object to path to convert that to a path first and then I'll duplicate that by hitting control D and then I'll hold shift and click on this ring and I'll center it on the vertical axis actually no I'll align the right sides with that button there and just click the button that says center on horizontal axis and click off to deselect everything so what I want to do now is create some guides to set where the boundaries are for the top and the bottom of the letter so to do that I'm going to come up to the top of the edge, the edge of the uh, screen up here where we see these little, uh, these little measurements. And I'm just going to click and drag down there and it's going to create a guide. But before I do that, let me turn on this button up here that says snap to smooth nodes, including quadra points of ellipses. Turn that on. And then we're going to come up here and create a guide, so click and drag it down and snap it to the top of this circle up here, right? Just like that. And that's going to be the cutoff point for the top of like the uh like the lower part of the letters like you see here on this line in the mock-up so uh, i'm going to create another one for down here as well just click and drag create another one so we have that set and now we can turn off the snap to uh snap to smooth nodes and what i want to do now is cut off the bottom of this rectangle where the a is where this ring is sitting on this line here so i'll grab the bezier pen which is over here or you can just press b on the keyboard and I'll snap onto the guide right here and click and then hold control and bring the line straight across until it goes past the rectangle and then click. Then we can let go of control and finish this up going around the outside of the rectangle. And then we can go to the select tool, hold shift, click on the rectangle and go to path difference. And what we have to do now is get rid of the top part of this rectangle. So to do that, let's click off of it to deselect everything. Let's click on the ring then hold shift and click on the um, the rectangle and let's duplicate them by hitting control D and then go to uh, path intersection and let me just turn that red so you can see what I did there it took the intersecting area and what I'm gonna do with that intersecting area is I'm gonna hold shift and click on the uh, the rectangle down there this larger rectangle and go to path difference and then path uh, break apart and then I'll hold shift and click on this bottom part of the rectangle to deselect it and we'll just have this selected up here so I'll just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that and that's gone and now we can click and drag over both of those objects and go to path union and we can bring the opacity up and you'll see we have created the letter A now to create the letter B I'm gonna use this same shape I'm just gonna hit control D on the keyboard to duplicate it and then hold control and just click and drag it off to the right over here and then I want to flip it vertically and then flip it horizontally. And you can see we have the letter B. We just have to go to the Edit Paths by Nodes tool and click and drag over these two nodes right here 
and just hold control and click and drag them up about that far or however far up you'd like it to be. I think maybe right about there looks pretty good. Now let's go to the select tool, click off of that to deselect everything. We're gonna wanna put another guide up here at where the, the, the height of the letter is because that's gonna be a reference point for like the letter F and the letter H and, and other things like that. As you'll see here, uh, the top of the B is where like the F ends and where the H ends as well. So let's go ahead and grab another guide and put that, just snap it onto the corner there. And we're gonna need another guide on the bottom at, the, at an equal distance that this is for like the letter P and the letter Q and whatnot. So to do that, I'm just gonna grab the letter B here. I'm just gonna hit Control D to duplicate it. And I'm gonna bring this over here and flip it vertically and then hold shift and click the letter A and come over here where it says align top align top edges, just like that. And now we can click off of it to deselect everything. And I'm gonna create one more guide and just put it down here, snap to that edge. And that should be an equal distance here as it is here. And that's, we pretty much have our guide set. These are our boundaries for you know how we create these letters. And we now actually, we have a letter P as well. So if you want, you could just delete it or you could just move it off to the side and use it as a letter P later. I'm just gonna delete it because I'm not going that far in this tutorial. So the next thing to create is the letter C, which should be pretty easy. So uh, again, if you wanna move the page around, I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. So let's grab a copy of our ring over here, hit Control D to duplicate it, then hold Control and just click and drag it over to the right. And we're gonna create our letter C. So to create the letter C, we just have to take a chunk out of this right side over here. So let's create a rectangle or a square actually. We'll grab the uh, rectangles and squares tool. Hold control and shift and click and drag to create a perfectly symmetrical square like that. And I'll go to the select tool and I'm gonna click on it again to get the rotation handles and hold control and just grab one of these corner arrows and rotate it around one, two, three, three steps. Now the corners are going vertically like that. And I wanna place this over the ring right here. And then I'll hold shift and click on the ring and just make sure it's centered on the horizontal axis. And now we can click off it to deselect everything. Now let's take this red rectangle and let's just make that white so we can get a preview of what this letter will look like. We can actually take this ring and bring the opacity all the way up. And if you notice, you could adjust how it'll look by holding control and moving this rectangle back and forward. Like if I move it too far to the right, the C doesn't really look right. It doesn't look like uh, it goes a little too far. But if I bring it too far to the left, then it gets a little, uh, it, it, again, it doesn't look right. It doesn't go far enough. So I think you have to find like a good happy medium, which is like, I'd say right about there. That's pretty good. And once you have that set like that, you can just hold shift and click on the ring and go to path difference. And there we have the letter C. So uh, what I'll do now is create the letter D, which we already have created, which is the letter B. We can just click on that and duplicate it by hitting control D. Hold control, bring this over to the right flip this horizontally by clicking the button that says uh, flip selected objects horizontally and there's our letter D. And if you ever want to get a look at how things are coming out so far, you can hold control and roll down the mouse wheel to zoom out and you could temporarily make the guides invisible by holding shift and clicking the, um, the slash key, the one that's next to uh, the backspace key at the top. At the top of the, uh, your keyboard where the backspace key is, it's the first key to the left. It's like that slash Key. I don't know what it's called. I don't know the name of it, but uh, it's that one. And you can turn them back on by holding shift and clicking that key again. Sorry, I don't know the name of that one. Maybe I'll figure it out when I'm done and put it in the description of the video. So, uh, okay, now that we have the letter D finished, we can create the letter E. So let's grab the ring again, hit control D to duplicate that, and then hold control and bring it over here. Click and drag it off to the right, holding control. And the letter E has like a little arm going through the center of it. So let's grab our rectangle and duplicate that by hitting control. Uh, you can actually just right click it and go to duplicate or control D, either one. And I want to flip this around 90 degrees. So I'll come up here to where it says uh, rotate selection 90 degrees clockwise. Go ahead and click that. And then hold shift and click on that ring and center it on the vertical and horizontal axis. And click off of it to deselect everything. So now we want to get rid of the part of this rectangle that exceeds the ring. So to do that, I'm going to click on this ring and hit Control D to duplicate that and go to Path, uh, Break Apart, and then Path, Union, and then hold Shift and click on that rectangle and go to Path, Intersection. And what we could do now is with that selected, hit Control D to duplicate that, and then hold Shift and click on the ring 
and go to path difference and then path break apart and uh, let's let's hold shift and click on the top half of that ring to, to deselect it and then while still holding shift click on the bottom part of that ring to deselect it and whatever is left left over that's still selected is just invisible little fragments that shouldn't technically exist so you can just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of them and the whole point of what we just did is so that we could break these these ring up into into two different pieces because we want to take a chunk out of this ring right here to create to, to uh, complete the letter E so to do that uh, I'll click off of the graphic to deselect everything and again I'll grab the bezier pen which is over here or again just press B on the key on the keyboard and I want to start this line on the inside right here and I'll just hold control and move this down through here like that and then go ahead and click and now we can let go of control and finish up the, the shape going around the outside of that arm down there and we go to the select tool hold shift click on the lower part of the ring and go to path difference now we can click and drag over all of that and unify it all together by going to path union and bring the the, uh, the opacity all the way up and there we have the letter e and that's all set so what we'll do next is we'll create the letter f so let's uh grab our rectangle over here hit Control d to duplicate that and bring this over here and since the base of the letter starts down here i want to take the base of the rectangle and put it on that guideline like there and it should snap directly onto that guideline and then i'm going to grab our quarter our quarter circle piece right here click on that hit Control d to duplicate that and bring this over here as well but this is going to be up here it's not going to be down here it's going to be up here like that so uh, snap it to that top line and then hold shift and click on this rectangle and click the button that says align left edges and then click off of that to deselect everything and all we have to do now is click on this large rectangle and bring this down here so we'll grab the edit paths by nodes tool and i'll click and drag over those top two nodes and just click and drag them down here like that snap that on there i'll go to the select tool and I'll duplicate this by hitting Control D because that's going to make up the arm of the F. And I'm going to click the button over here that says Rotate Selection 90 Degrees Clockwise to make that go horizontally like that. And I want to put this right above here. In fact, you could snap it onto the corner of the E right here. That's pretty good. And then hold Control to lock it onto the horizontal axis and bring it over here. And uh, I'll actually hold Shift and click on this top quadrant uh, of the uh, ring right here and align the right sides with that button over there. Click off it to deselect everything. Take this rectangle right here and just take this left arrow and just bring that in. And then we can click and drag over all of that and unify it together by going to path, union, bring the opacity all the way up. And I'm just gonna move that a little closer. And there we have the letter F. So what we have to do now is uh, next up is letter G. So to do that, I'll grab the letter A and I'm just going to add a little tail to the bottom of it over here to create a letter G. So I'll duplicate that by hitting Control D. I'll hold Control and click and drag this over to the right. And I'll take the opacity of this and bring this down just temporarily. And again, I want to grab another quadrant piece over here. I'll click on that, hit Control D to duplicate that, and then bring it over here. And I want to flip that vertically and then flip it horizontally. And then I want to snap it onto the corners here but I actually want to have this bottom corner snapped to this bottom guide because this bottom guide is the boundary for how low down the letter goes so I'm just gonna hold control and just move that straight up until it snaps onto that guide just like that and let me just hold control and roll up the mouse wheel to zoom in over here as you'll see now what we have to do is fix the bottom of this this letter a we need to take these two points and put them to the top over here so to do that I'm going to grab the edit pads by nodes tool and I'm going to click on our letter A up here and I'm going to take this node, click and drag it and just snap it onto that corner node right there. And now let me zoom back out by holding control and rolling down the mouse wheel. Go back to the select tool, click and drag over both of it and go to path union. Now you can bring the opacity all the way up and there's our letter G. And now finally, all we have to create now is the letter H. So to do that, um, I'm going to grab another rectangle, click on that, hit Control D to duplicate it, snap this onto this guide down here, and the height of this rectangle needs to be where this guide is, so I'll grab the Edit Pads by Nodes tool, click and drag over that, 
holds control on the keyboard to lock it onto the vertical axis and just click and drag it straight down until it snaps. Bring the opacity all the way. Actually, you know what? Let's leave the opacity where it is for now. We'll go to the select tool and I want to grab another half circle right here. Click on that, hit control D to duplicate it. And this needs to be snapped to this second guy right here. So just snap that up there and then hold shift and click on the rectangle and the line, the left edge is like that. Click off of it to deselect everything. And now we've got to create the little leg of the H right there. So we'll, 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 we'll grab a copy of this rectangle right here, hit control D and then just snap it onto the corners there. And we'll go back to the edit paths by nodes tool, click and drag over those two nodes, hold control and click and drag them up until it snaps onto that bottom guide. And now we can go to the select tool, click and drag over all of it, unify it all together by going to path union, bring the opacity all the way up and we have created letters A through H. So hopefully now you get the idea of how this works. You can go and finish up the rest of this if you'd like to use these letters, like the letter I would obviously be just a rectangle sitting right here. And the letter J would be a rectangle, would be another rectangle, just like the letter I, but with this little tail underneath it, like we did for the letter G. And that pretty much does it for this tutorial. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.